Hi there. Welcome to NCSI. My name is Sonia. In this video, I will introduce you to the tools you can utilize to set up your own malware analysis lab. If you need an introduction to what malware analysis is all about, I invite you to read this article in our library. You will find the link to it in the description box below. There are three steps to setting up your own malware analysis lab. The first step is to create an isolated environment to execute the malware samples. The next step involves setting up tools to perform static malware analysis. This is when we would analyze a malicious sample without executing it. The final step involves setting up dynamic malware analysis tools. Here, we execute the malware and track its behavior using multiple tools. We will take a look at each step in detail. The isolated environment is typically referred to as a sandbox. The first task is to create a virtual machine. You can utilize hypervisors like VirtualBox or VMware. Ensure that the virtual machine is configured to remain in an isolated network. Hypervisors like VirtualBox have various networking modes like internal network that you can benefit from. The goal is to ensure that malicious network traffic is not sent to the host computer. The next step is to collect all the tools required for static malware analysis. Strings is a command line utility that can extract all ANSI and Unicode strings from a target file. PE Studio is a great tool to process Windows executable files. Likewise, there are tools to extract information from malicious Word documents, malicious PDF files, malicious Java executables, etc. Once you get acquainted with PE Studio, you can research about other tools to statically analyze other file formats. Resource Hacker is a tool that can extract resources like images, strings, manifests, etc. embedded into an executable. The next step is to set up dynamic analysis tools. When malware samples execute, they may create or delete files, registry keys, processes, and network connections. These dynamic analysis tools will help track those activities. Process Monitor is an excellent utility that can log all file activity, registry activity, and child process creation. Rigshot is a tool specially designed to track changes to the registry. Wireshark is a network packet capture tool. If the malware sample makes any outgoing network connections, that activity can be tracked from a packet capture. FakeNet is another network simulation tool that can be configured to intercept or capture network traffic. Before you execute a malware sample, take a shot of the registry state, then start Process Monitor, Wireshark, and FakeNet. Then execute the malware sample. After a few minutes, observe the activity recorded by Process Monitor, Wireshark, and FakeNet. Then take another shot of the registry. The two shots can be compared using RigShot to identify all the changes reflected in the registry by the malware. Process the results obtained from all the tools to fully uncover information about the malware's behavior. Once the VM is set up in an isolated network with static and dynamic malware analysis tools, the next task is to take a snapshot of the VM when it is in a clean state. After malware execution, the VM becomes infected. In the case of ransomware, all files get encrypted and the system becomes unfit for use. This is when you can simply restore the VM to the known good state for future malware analysis projects. Are you excited to set up your own malware analysis lab? Go ahead, set up your lab and get your hands on a live malware sample from public repositories like VirusShare and the Zoop. Execute the sample in your lab and utilize the tools we discussed to uncover information about the malware's behavior. Additionally, you can also find information about recently executed malware in computer memory. You can perform memory forensics to identify information about the malware. We have another video on our channel where we introduce a simple process to analyze malware samples with memory forensics. There is also a practical demonstration video using that process. I encourage you to watch those two videos. You will find the links in the description box below. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon.